Welcome to a tutorial on the FET and today in this tutorial we're going to discuss specifically about the FET parameters okay so now in this tutorial we're just gonna uh, you know give you an insight about how many parameters in case of FETs we would you know obtain while uh, studying the AC uh, application model of the FETs so here we're gonna basically you know study uh, the AC uh, or rather also referred to as the small signal model of the FETs basically so here uh, we'd have you know uh, or rather we'll just you know start a discussion uh, today from the topic that I mean from from the fact basically that the FET is basically a voltage controlled device okay so just pen it down over here so that's uh, a voltage controlled device and now the question uh, that is supposed to arise at this point is that what does it control does it control the uh, output current that's the uh, drain current okay or rather does it control the output voltage which is actually the uh, drain to source voltage okay so what does it actually uh, control basically well the answer is quite plain and simple the FET okay while working in the AC or small signal operation okay controls both the drain current as well as the drain source voltage utilizing the input at its uh, you know the across its gate source terminals so whenever we're uh, you know applying an input AC signal at the input terminals of a FET okay so it's just it will be referred to as V small gs now this denotes that AC input signal okay so this denotes that AC input signal across you know uh, the gate and source terminals applied as you know applied in case of a FET okay irrespective of the fact that whether it's a JFET or a MOSFET doesn't matter in all the FETs this is basically the model that we would be just you know referring to and discussing in this tutorial so having that said over here uh, we'll just you know refer to you know there are basically you know two types of uh, FET models okay one is of course the uh, model based on the uh, current control and the other ones based on tro uh, I mean on the you know voltage control so we'll start with the current control model of the FET first so if you all would take a look at the diagram okay over here I'll just show you just give me a second okay so that's the diagram that I'm just uh, you know talking about okay so that's the um, uh, this diagram is basically you know referred to as the uh, equivalent okay this is the uh, equivalent okay that's right equivalent current control model or rather also referred to as the uh, equivalent current source signal I mean current source model so I'll just write it down like as it's being referred to so equivalent current source model of the FET okay so there you go so now in this uh, equivalent current source model uh, what are the observations that we are gonna make we basically see that first of all the ground is floating so we have a floating uh, sorry there uh, th that's a gate so we have a floating gate terminal now the gate terminal not being connected to any other uh, terminal over here and it's floating basically is indicative of the fact that the input resistance is very high so this basically you know indicates that input resistance you know very high so now we know that the uh, FET input resistance is very high from the previous tutorials as in case of a JFET we would you know reverse bias the gate and the channel junction and in case of MOSFETs there would be an insulation layer between uh, the uh, you know substrate and the gate terminal okay so now because of uh, this fact we have a very high input resistance at the uh, input of the FET that's across the I mean that, that that's at the gate input terminal okay so now it basically has you know this uh, you know sinusoidal signal okay we might refer to this V as as uh, I mean as a sinusoidal signal over here and now we can see that the uh, output current over here that's the drain current ID is basically controlled with uh, you know by means of this uh, input signal that's VGS okay that's the input signal falling at the gate input okay and now we would just you know uh, utilizing now what happens inside the semiconductors is in you know, a quite uh, you know a very big issue to understand so in order to you know simplify things the engineers you know have taken uh, the help or rather have you know uh, utilized the basic concepts of circuit theory and a two-port network model and have come up with this uh, you know uh, the uh, equivalent circuit for the uh, in order to classify or rather you know uh, decipher the working of the FET so here we we'll have in, in terms of that we'll have a, a dependent current source over here so this is basically a dependent source okay I'll just write it down as dependent current source so there you go 
it's a dependent current source so now this current source is basically you know, supplying uh, current at the output terminal and now this current flowing through the output terminal has you know, two components as you can see one through the current source okay whose magnitude is gm vgs i'll come to the meaning of gm later in the tutorial and the other component you know basically through rd okay that's the uh, drain resistance over here so here uh, we can just uh, write down an equation for uh, the drain current i mean the ac drain current that's id that's equal to you know gm vgs uh, yeah that's right so that's uh, the uh, I mean the ID is you know uh, constituted by you know two current components over here okay so now uh, if we just add them together we'll get ID so that's exactly what I'm doing over here so ID is equals GM VGS plus the current component through RD that's uh, the VDS that's the voltage across RD divided by the drain resistance I mean AC drain resistance itself so there you go that's VDS divided by RD so now uh, coming uh, to this equation okay this is basically the equation that we obtained from this uh, model over here so now over here we can see that there are you know two terms that we haven't come across in the previous tutorial that's the uh, GM okay and RD well now here RD is basically referred to okay so RD is basically referred to as the AC uh, drain resistance of the uh, FET basically so here I go okay so that's the AC drain resistance so now this is basically the resistance in the uh, you know the channel of the uh, FET whenever we're working with the AC signals basically so here RD is obviously or rather yeah RD is basically you know equal to okay it's basically equal to you know uh, VDS by uh, the drain current over here or rather we can just yeah so we can just write down RD as something this way and uh, this is basically uh, taken whenever you know the input signal that's VGS is equal to zero so whenever we have no signal at the input okay the output I mean the uh, current flowing through the channel okay is uh, specifically a function of the uh, output uh, voltage that's the drain to source resistance and the uh, I mean yeah that's the drain to source voltage and the uh, drain resistance RD over here so under no input signal given to the gate terminal ID is basically a function of the I mean it's basically you know dependent upon the magnitude of the drain source I mean the drain resistance as well as the uh, drain source voltage over there that you know develops at the output terminal so that as you can see over here VDS okay so now uh, that's RD over here and we have another term over here that's GM which is actually the transconductance okay so there you go that's transconductance now this transconductance is a term that links the uh, input uh, to the output parameters okay so there you go we would refer GM as equal to you know the um, output drain current that's ID okay uh, with respect to variations I mean or rather with respect to the uh, VGS that's the input AC signal to the FET and this is basically you know taken okay this is basically you know taken when VDS is equals to zero so this is basically you know taken VDS is equal to zero which means that over here we just you know short the output terminal and at that moment the ID being maximum okay whenever we just you know short these two terminals over here okay so uh, let's just remove the fact okay right so uh, whenever we'll just you know uh, short the output resistances ID would be max so whenever I ID uh, is basically you know max for VDS equals to zero so that's basically what happens inside an amplifier uh, whenever we're using the FET as an amplifier in case of small signal applications basically so now uh, we can just get or rather we just take the uh, value of the transconductance at that moment so this is one more relationship that we obtained over here so now transconductance uh, basically refers to uh, the variation of the drain current with respect to the variations in the uh, input a signal at the uh, gate terminals okay so now uh, here it has the uh, you know dimensional formula of conductance which is you know current divided by voltage so as we can see over here and now it's referred to as transconductance okay this part trans basically refers to in you know, a transfer of conductance so this basically uh, you know coins up or rather comes up over here for the fact that here with this you know property basically since the gate being I mean the FET over here being uh, a voltage controlled device okay exercises control over the output current with the help of the input voltage now this property is just brought about in its name okay referred to as the transconductance its SI unit is given in Siemens okay so its SI unit okay so there it is so the SI unit is Siemens basically okay or we can just write it in short as S okay so that's uh, what we obtained from the uh, 
equivalent current source model of the FET. And now if we would just you know uh, take a look at another model, okay, we'll just you know arrive at the uh, voltage control model of the FET basically in this case. So now we can see here, okay, and one more thing I'd like to mention that we can see here that the uh, source is basically you know uh, connected together. So now this basically refers to the fact that the uh, FET is basically uh, used as an amplifier under the common source configuration so that's the uh, yeah that's right that's the common source configuration under which or rather uh, keeping in mind which this model has been you know uh, made okay in order to understand the FET characteristics better so now uh, we have the uh, next uh, model coming up over here yep there you go so that's uh, the uh, voltage control model that I was you know talking about uh, back there okay so uh, this is basically uh, you know referred to as the equivalent okay so there you go that's the equivalent uh, voltage uh, source model of the FET so that's the voltage source okay so there's a voltage source model of the FET basically okay so that's right so now uh, in this uh, model if you would uh, again uh, you know, take a look at this model over here we'll again have the gate floating which is indicative of the fact that the FET has a very very high input resistance and then again we'll see that uh, it, this model is again based on the uh, common source uh, configuration of the FET and this basically could be obtained from the previous model if we just need to convert this uh, current source into an equivalent voltage source and that results in uh, something like this we'd have the uh, drain resistance that's RD okay coming up in series with a dependent voltage source now we have a dependent voltage source over here so now uh, since this is a voltage control model basically we'll have a voltage source that's quite obvious so this is basically a dependent voltage source as we can see over here and now its magnitude is given by mu VGS okay so now if we would just you know um, uh, here we just you know uh, trying to you know form an equation uh, between the output voltage that's uh, you know uh, being uh, generated or rather you know being uh, uh, you know produced by the uh, fed okay uh, and and the its various parameters over here so basically the output voltage here uh, that's the ac output voltage here being vds basically if we would try and uh, you know uh, try and uh, obtain an equation over here we'd see that vds is basically the voltage okay occurring across the rd as well as that of mu vgs so now before we are going over there we I'll just just like to you know point out the fact that since we're uh, working here with the AC uh, model of the FET so here it's quite obvious that the FET could be used as an amplifier and these these are basically the models that are used to study uh, the amplification uh, properties of the FET so here uh, mu is basically you know referred to as the amplification factor so there we go that's the amplification factor over there so now uh, just keeping that in mind I'll just write or rather write the expression for me I mean uh, mu over here that's equal to the output voltage that's the output AC voltage as the drain source voltage over there divided by the input voltage that's VGS okay and there's a negative sign over here uh, okay and this is basically taken whenever we're gonna have ID as equals to zero so now uh, this uh, indicates that whenever we're having the output terminals open and not shorted okay uh, then whenever we're having the output terminals open the uh, voltage obtained uh, at the output terminals is a uh, maximum okay so that's already we know uh, from our previous experiences in a you know circuit theory and all okay so here uh, we also having a negative symbol over here okay we're having a negative sign which just indicates the fact that the uh, input voltage and the output voltage are you know out of phase with each other by at least 180 degrees so I mean that whenever we're having an input signal let's say VGS okay if this is the waveform of VGS then the output waveform that's VDS over here uh, under the AC control model of the FET it'll be just you know 180 degrees you know out of phase with that of the uh, input signal okay so basically uh, due to this fact this uh, you know negative sign creeps up over here so apart from that if we now just you know try and make or rather try and write down the equation over here it looks somewhat like this so we'll get VDS as equals to the voltage okay across uh, the uh, drain resistance here due to the drain current that should flow through the output uh, terminals over here that's ID so we'll get ID RD okay minus okay so we're getting uh, this as mu VGS and now since uh, VGS is of course you know uh, since uh, due to this negative 
uh, you know sign over here since this uh, output and input are you know out of phase with each other we'll get you know just cross multiply these two terms we'll get VDS as equal to minus mu VGS so that's uh, the equation that I was just you know talking about over here obtained from the equivalent voltage controlled model of the FET so now in this equation we just see that the uh, output voltage is dependent upon the voltages obtained across these two uh, you know terms over here as per the model suggests so that's right here okay so now uh, having that said and all I'd like to basically point out uh, to a fact that if we just refer to the previous model over here and now if, if we would you know uh, utilize the relationship of you know the RD and the uh, transconductance over here if we would just you know multiply uh, them together if we would just multiply RD and you know the transconductance over here then we're gonna get something like this well RD is basically you know VDS by ID as well as uh, since GM that's the transconductance is equals to you know VDS or rather uh, sorry there it's uh, equal to at least uh, yeah the ID divided by the input uh, voltage over here yeah that's uh, VGS basically so now over here from this uh, you know multiplication we'd find that the ID terms would cancel and we'll get something as VDS by VGS and now since VGS is you know a negative okay since it's out of phase over here so now we can see that this is basically if we just take mod over here then we can see that this is basically equals to mu okay so now from this uh, you know fact we obtain a relationship between the amplification factor okay and uh, that of the RD and the uh, that's the drain resistance and the transconductance over here so from this we would obtain uh, this relationship that mu is equals to the re drain resist AC drain resistance times the transconductance of the FET so that's another relationship that we can obtain from these uh, parameters over here so having that said that we come to the end of this tutorial okay don't forget to watch the next tutorials on FET until then it's just goodbye for now and thanks for watching